Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a first in this channel. This is from Fujigen or Fujigen. This is the FGN Odyssey EOS2 Dash Ash, which features Ash body and M, which features a maple neck. <laughs>
I want to thank Yusan from Fujigen, uh, Japan, for passing me this guitar. Um, I wrote to them, I think about two months or so, and they, we've been going through correspondence. And he was so nice enough to send me uh, three guitars. So this is one of them. This is um, quite up there on the top of the line. This is the EOS2 uh, Ash Dash M. Ash, Ash Body, and M stands for Maple Neck. So this is from the Odyssey series. Um, first time I'm playing a Fujigen uh, guitar. This is a work of art. Um, I mean, everything is like really well made. Um, you can you can tell that this guitar has been through uh, loving care. You know, um, guys actually work on it with, with really loving care. Now to start with, you have a two-piece ash body with a sort of a unique blue finish. I'm not too sure about the name of the finish, but you can see the grain, uh, right? You can see it here and also at the back, really nice. You also have a quarter saw maple neck, a U-shaped neck profile. You have 22 frets. These are silver nickels. These are the tall or narrow and tall uh, nickel silver frets. 22 of them. Um, you have black dot markers on the fretboard itself and Lumine uh, markers on the side. Very unique. It also comes in with a very nice bow nut with a nut width of roughly 42 mm. And these tuners are really nice. These are the Goto Magnum. Uh, vintage style locking tuners, right? So you have uh, a slot here where you can have your flat head uh, screwdriver and you kind of lock uh, the string in after you have changed them. And then you have a very unique string tree that uh, will, will just pull down three strings instead of two. 
So the E, B, and G are being pulled down by this string tree. I have no problem with this one, uh, as long as the nut is uh, properly uh, looped and you know set up. I have no problem with the tuning at all. Um, the head stock profile is a little bit different, as you can see. Yeah, interesting. And um, it also features a compound radius of 9.8 inch to 13.7 inch. So it just yeah. It's a compound radius. And the fret work, now this uh, Fujigen has this unique um, uh, thing going uh, where you have a circle fretting system. So from what I understand, it makes um, uh, the, the guitar really in tune, to play really in tune because everywhere you fret is like 90 degree onto the string so there's no uh, there's no cases of where you know some of the frets are like you know off the tangent so I guess they have it uh, uh, installed in such a way where it corresponds with the fret radius so you have your intonation spot on basically so that's why I understand I might be wrong so correct me if I'm wrong um, you want to read about it? Go ahead. It's in the description uh, box. Um, on the body itself, you have a very nice three ply, uh, white perloid um, pick guard, right? Five way pickup selector switch, one volume and one tone, and you have two dip switches here. Uh, the first one uh, nearest to the pickup selector would let you activate the humbucker wedge uh, wherever you are, whichever position you. You could be in fourth or fifth, and when you hit that switch, you know it will hit and activate the uh, the humbucker on the bridge. Right. Now the second one will let you split the humbucker, and when you're on the second position, it would be the single coil in the middle, and the last single coil of the bridge humbucker so you get a really nice quack yeah basically that's about it and then you have a goto 510 treble system yeah try and true very dependable these are with the block saddles all right on the back plate access you can see the tremolo block quite a sizable one the springs as well as the easy access for your adjustment of your springs um then you have the neck joint with the japanese word fujigen in Japanese, really cool. Uh, four screw neck joint, right? In output jack over here. And that's it. Now, as I go through this whole uh, body, the, the, the body work as well as the neck, I can see no flaws. I can find no flaws. This guitar is really well made, uh, well thought out. Um, and really nice workmanship, you know, you can. See this curve over here and the grain, the finish. Guitar came in set up properly, you know, with the float. Okay. Yeah, it's all floated really nicely. You can hear the little ping is because I haven't looped the nut actually. So once it's all set up and looped, yeah, it will play beautifully. So as far as playability is concerned, this guitar plays beautifully and, and really easy. You have a U-shaped neck profile, the compound radius. This jumbo fret is narrow and tall, but it's nevertheless, it's still a jumbo fret. Um, really nice um, rollover edge to, to make it like real comfortable. Um, not as profound as some of the other guitars, but you know, it's it's there, it's rollover, you can feel it, it's comfortable. Uh, no neck, no fret sprouting, nothing. The uh, the fretwork is really, really well done. Um, as far as intonation is concerned, this guitar is set up properly, like I said, intonates you know, perfectly. Uh, I have no problem with that. And then as far as the sound is concerned, so this this these pickups are from uh, Fujigen itself. So you have um, for the neck, you have the FGN OS two N stands for neck, and then you have the middle, you have the FGN OS two RW for the middle, and then you have the FGN Expert HF for the bridge humbucker. Now the bridge humbucker. Is high output so you can really rock out with that bridge output so it makes this a super strat configuration so you have a very nice powerful uh, humbucker at the bridge you have a very nice subtle uh, single call for your for your neck position and a no 
a really chimey, sort of a mid-rangey, chimey and mid-rangey uh, single coil for the middle. Lovely combination because you can more or less switch between the sounds as you can probably hear from the song as well from, as well from the demo. Um, really nice tone on the, on the neck pickup. Um, not high output, but just nice, you know, it, it's nice and subtle. And then as you go along, if you need to radically change that sound to a, a, a in-your-face kind of sound, just hit that switch here if you want to, or do the old school, or just flip back. And then you have this really nice, um, powerful humbucker at the bridge. Cool, really nice. So the, um, the guitar is available uh, in any retail shops or online shops or whatever that sells Fujigen guitars, FGN guitars. So I'm going to put the list uh, down um, for the various distributors in, in the States as well as in Canada. In Singapore, uh, this Fujigen has been carried by Sound Alchemy. So if you're in Singapore, you might just want to call them up and see whether they have this guitar in stock because the last I checked is not in stock because this is sent to me uh, directly from Japan. And um, the guys in Sao Alchemy were so nice to deliver it to me. Um, so you might want to check them out if, you know, call them out and see when this, if you're interested in this guitar, right? Now the going price, of course, uh, varies from places to places, but the price stipulated is in Singapore dollars. This is what it's going to cost here in Singapore. Uh, for the actual price in wherever you are in, in the States or in Canada, you might want to check with your dealers there or the retail shop. Interesting guitar if you're looking for a nice Stratocaster in a super Strat configuration. Uh, if you're looking for a, a guitar that is well made with wonderful workmanship and doesn't cost an arm or a leg, this is something you want to look at. And uh, I kind of like really in, um, am pleasantly surprised with the the hardware that they choose. So for example, the the vintage style. You know, it looks like a Cluson tuner. Like you know, this is a these are Magnum go to Magnum locking tuners. You know, I'm just very, uh, very um, happy with some of the appointments that has been chosen. Uh, the 510, of course, and uh, the, the, the pickups that they have for this guitar. And of course, the finish. All right. Let me know what you think about this guitar. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. I know a lot of you uh, own FG and guitars. And that's why a lot of you have asked me to Okay, John, can you review some FG or Fujigen guitars? And I say, yeah, I'll try, I'll try. So, well, here it is. So the two more to come. And uh, just uh, stay tuned for it and, and keep an eye out for them, for the reviews. So if you have any comments, leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. So once again, I want to thank Fujigen for uh, passing me these guitars uh, for review. You know, um, very gracious of them. Thank you, Yusen. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos to follow. Be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful love and support. Thank you so much, guys. So in the meantime, please take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Sayonara!